Hey everyone, welcome to my second video of a seven video series and today we're going to be focusing on the fundamental footwork when shooting. There are varieties of way to shoot a basketball when playing. But when it comes to footwork, there's only three specific footwork you need to focus on. The two-footed hop, the two-step, and the sidestep. And that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. We're going to be talking about the two-footed hop. It can be achieved by taking a hop and landing on both feet as the basketball is being passed to you. It helps you to use that landing momentum and raise up and shoot or drive to either side. The biggest benefit of this kind of footwork is the ability to drive to the basket with both sides because your pivot foot or your pivot point hasn't been established yet. This also makes it a quick move when you're shooting off the catch. Next, we're gonna be talking about the two-step or the one-two-step. The two-step or the one-two-step can be done when you have one foot moving forward before another foot. It can vary from player to player depending on their shooting hand. You take one step forward, plant your foot there, and move your other foot with you, then begin your shooting motion. A large majority of people like this footwork because it allows them to have almost flawless transition when they try to shoot off the dribble. Finally, last but certainly not least, the sidestep. According to Miss Susie, this particular footwork is becoming really trendy in the last few years, and there are many reasons that led to this. In order to perform this footwork well, first, you need to determine which hand is your shooting hand. If you're right-handed, then sidestep to the left, but if you're left-handed, then sidestep to the right. You can do it with the same arm, same side, but it's going to be really difficult to do so. Your shooting arm is facing away from the basket, so when you try to make the shot, it's going to take off a lot of time and accuracy off your shot. It works when you're dribbling the ball and moving around and suddenly, you use one foot to push on the ground, moving yourself away from your defender. This is a great move when you're trying to create separation and take a shot. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really hope it would help you out. If you want to check out my previous video, please click here. And if you want to watch more video, please click here to subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace out.